In this episode, let's look under the hood of Amazon private labeling, and more importantly, under the hood of your psyche. Hey, this is Rochelle, and welcome to Multiple Passive Streams of Income. There are many misconceptions about Amazon private labeling. Once you know the definition of it, which is at its core, it basically just means buy low and sell high. Most people don't really understand Amazon private labeling and people who are intrigued enough to inquire usually miss this golden opportunity when it comes time to select which product to sell. Then those people are filtered down by stinking thinking, which we will discuss later. Of the people who have the courage to try, most will fail at the first product. And depending on your fortitude, many will give up and not try again, instead of continuing to learn or hiring a coach to get you your first successful product. So why does this happen time and time again? First, I don't think people realize how financially life-changing having a successful product on Amazon can be. It doesn't matter how profitable your first product becomes. Even if your sales are profitable by a small margin, let's say for instance, you're profiting $50 a day. That's an extra $1,500 monthly. Now, some may feel that's not a lot, and maybe it isn't for some people, but for many people, that pays a few bills monthly and starts to help you dig out of debt. Secondly, your first successful product will give you clarity on how to scale to the second, third, fourth, to infinity successful product. The first product shows you the formula, and once you know the formula, you will be able to scale with ease. Importantly, when you are making monthly profit, you can take your time with product research and really be more thoughtful about the next products you bring to the market. You can easily expand to other Amazon marketplaces to increase profitability. If you sell in the US marketplace, you can instantly sell in the Canadian marketplace. And if your product translates well, you can do the same with the Mexican marketplace. And just with a little more effort, you can sell worldwide. Third, I don't think people understand how valuable the heavy lifting of Amazon is. Amazon has enormous buyer committed traffic. People are visiting Amazon to buy, not Dubai, but to buy, and are looking for a reason to buy your product. Once you figure out that formula and you're able to get people to buy your product from the limited amount of sellers on page one, and what's crazy is you can be profitable and only get a small percentage of the sales for various search terms. I equate it to a batting average. If a major league baseball player hits 300, he's considered an exceptional hitter. Having a 300 batting average means he didn't get a hit 70% of the time. So he fails to get a hit more times than he actually gets a hit. This is how Amazon works. You only have to get a small amount of sales from buying committed people who are looking specifically for your product. Number four, people think Amazon is saturated and it absolutely isn't. If we look at Amazon itself, you are competing against sellers who are relevant for your search terms only. So if the product is differentiated enough, there is a customer base for your product. The formula consists of understanding search term demand and putting your product in front of the people who want it. Amazon does the rest. They collect the payment, they pick and pack your product, they arrange for your product to be shipped and do any customer service needed for the product. In return, they take their cut and give you the rest. And this is happening 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 
Let's say you pretty much understand this is a great opportunity. And maybe my analysis has made you rethink what you already know. Why then do people still not do it? I've been sharing my Amazon success with family and coworkers and only one of my sisters started doing Amazon and my best friend tried a product and is given up already. So why aren't people jumping at this opportunity? I've been having conversations to try to understand people's hesitation. So let's look under the hood of the psyche. I find many people are risk averse. If they feel they will lose a penny, they block out the opportunity. And talking to a few coworkers, they're terrified of failing at first and that failure possibly creating debt for them. So obviously nobody wants debt or failure, but there's no business opportunity that's 100% a sure thing. And all businesses go into debt to eventually make money. So would Amazon FBA be any different? Let's say you fail at your first product and you incur some debt. Is that the end of the world? I see people buying frivolous stuff all day long and not bad an eye. But when it comes to changing your financial outlook, you hesitate and never move forward. Also the time wasted on entertainment and social media, when you could use that time to find the education that you need, there's so much free content available on the internet. So now we're talking about dedicating time and not even starting to lose any money. So where is the excuse now? People will say, I can't afford to fail. But those same people buy lottery tickets, smoke expensive ass cigarettes, have the newest iPhone every time one comes out, buy the most expensive car, have every cable channel in the world. I mean, do I need to continue? Now, don't get me wrong. I have frivolous habits too, but there's a difference in not seizing opportunity because it may cause some debt if it fails and making excuses why you won't try, but yet continue to go into debt with purchases that aren't moving you closer to getting out of debt. I also find people lack ambition. Ladies. How much effort do you put into people you're attracted to? How much effort do you put into your family and kids? A whole hell of a lot. You will get that Manny Petty, that Brazilian wax, take two hours to get all dolled up, wear uncomfortable shoes and tight clothes to impress someone. But where's that same effort and ambition to change your life financially? For the people who have ambition and actually launch a product, congratulations to you. It's a big first step and you should be proud of yourself. But then some people do all this and then don't want to spend enough money on PPC. How do you expect your unknown product to get to page one? Amazon's main goal is to sell. They're going to place the best selling products for each keyword on page one. PPC allows a seller with little to no sales history. It allows you to place your product in favorable places on Amazon pages. And as your sales velocity increases, your position on Amazon increases. And as you work your product up on page one, you get organic sales as well. If you are not willing to have a decent PPC budget, you are handicapping your chances for success. If some of this hits home, then good. I hope looking under the hood gives you inspiration to get started. Internet spending is a gigantic pie with a lot of room still to grow. Why shouldn't you have a piece of that pie? I'll leave you with one last thought. If you are living check to check, little to no savings, little to no retirement money saved, little to no ownership of assets like a home, and you are in some sort of debt, don't say I can't afford to try. 
say I can't afford not to try. As always, thanks for your time as I know you could be any other place right now. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.